right now, two women wait for their next court date accused in two separate drug overdose deaths. Good evening. I'm Josh Rowe. And I'm Kim Chapman. Tonight we're hearing from one victim's family. Tyler Hilliard, the man in the blue button down shirt, was 35 years old when he died last summer. Hannah Lawrence joined us now alive with why his parents want people to know about their son's death. Hannah. Josh and Kim, tonight, uh, tonight Tyler's parents say that they're sharing his story in hopes that other families will come forward with information that police can use. They don't want anyone else to lose a child the way they did. The Hillians are missing a piece of their hearts. And this is the last family photo we have of all of us. Jim and Julia say their son Tyler overdosed on fentanyl just a couple weeks after these pictures were taken. It was a Sunday morning. His mother discovered him locked in a bathroom at their home. When we broke into it, we found Tyler slumped over dead. Julia gave investigators the phone Tyler had been using. She says they kept it for three days. Eight months later, police arrested a woman accused of giving him the deadly dose of fentanyl. These people have got to be taken off the street. Another family doesn't need to have to go through this. Sabrina Lynn LaQuatra is the first in Hamilton County to be charged with second degree murder in a fentanyl overdose related death. Within a week, a second woman faces charges for a similar case. Chief Deputy Alan Branham says his deputies want to hold drug dealers accountable. I can tell the people that are doing this, get ready because there will be more. Tonight, even though it's difficult to be, Tyler's father is sympathetic towards everyone who's caught up in the opioid crisis, even his son's accused dealer. This problem is so bad, it, it's hard for me to blame anybody. But he doesn't want anybody to look past his son's story. We want his life to count for something. And if he can reach out there and maybe touch someone that's struggling with this, or in any way help, you know, that's that's why we're here. The Hillians say that they opened up about Tyler's struggle with opioids at his funeral. The family had an addiction counselor speak to everyone in the audience in case anyone there needed help too. Reporting live in Chattanooga, Hannah Lawrence, News Channel 9. Thank you, Hannah. Bradley County District Attorney Steve Crump told us last month that he is making a special effort to prosecute drug overdose cases as homicides. The Hamilton County District Attorney declined to interview with us about this story. A spokesperson from Neil Pinkston's office says, quote, it is not any different than any other case brought to us. The Bradley County DA may be making a special effort, but the Hamilton County DA 